Hello and welcome back to Tiny Bench. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. In this fourth and final episode of the Macintosh MC2205 repair and restoration video, I will show you how I can repair some of the imperfections in the paint behind the glass. Let's get started. I am going to start by removing the metal frame of the glass. I went ahead and labeled the position of these pieces because it could get confusing when it comes time to put them back. I didn't know it would come out that easy. Okay, so you get the idea. I am basically scraping the blister behind the glass and then I'm going to uh, paint over. I have to be extremely careful with the lettering. If I paint over the lettering, then the light would not go through them and they would not be visible. This is the paint that I'm using, but I have it on a little glass jar. This one is just literally crumbling, usually not the case. To make sure that I have enough paint on the glass, I shine a light from behind. And then I can see where I need to add more paint. That little bitty one under the watts, I am not gonna touch it because it's too close to the lettering. That one right there, I'm just gonna leave those alone. What's the matter, Rocky? Sick. <laughs> What's the problem? You're in charge of security? You have an intruder. All right, guys, you get the idea. Cleaning the glass with alcohol really helps the paint stick to the glass. I do a thin coat, let it dry, and then go over it again. And uh, use the light behind the glass, as I showed you already, to see where it needs more paint. So once I put a thin layer, and let it dry, the next coat goes on a lot better. Okay, I'm putting the glass back together and I thought I had a couple of tips uh, for those who have never done this before. To clean the glass, I recommend using newspaper or packaging paper, which is a very similar actually to a newspaper. The reason is because it doesn't leave as much fiber behind as uh, compared to other type of papers such as um, a paper towel which can leave a lot of a residue behind. I use glass cleaner on the looks like you know, on the glass and uh, just alcohol on the plexiglass. The original was uh, simply taped on the glass so I am doing the exact same thing I'm simply taping it back to the glass. 
I was just thinking that the masking tape on this amplifier has uh, lasted for decades. You know, who would have thought that masking tape could last so long? But anyways, um, I'm just gonna put it back together and show you how it looks. Like this and simply Macintosh sells new glasses. Sometimes you have to wait because they, they make them in batches. I had to wait six months before, but eventually they made them. So, you know, if you are crafty and you feel like tackling this kind of job, you are welcome to, but otherwise, you know, it, it's probably better just to buy a new glass. This was quite a hassle. It took me a lot more time than I thought it would, uh, a lot more time than uh, it shows in the video. Just want to show you just enough for, uh, for you to get an idea. You need pa definitely need uh, patience to do it. It's uh, kind of an arts and crafts kind of a job. So guys, you get the idea. I will uh, show it to you when I, uh, when I put it together. So you can see it from the front, see the difference. Okay guys, here's the final product. This was not a cosmetic restoration, but I figured I would uh, go ahead and uh, give it some TLC, make it look better, why not? And uh, quite frankly, the owner has a new glass, so I didn't even have to do this, but I thought I would take the opportunity to show you that it can be done. If you think it was worth the effort, please let me know in the comments. This glass was a lot worse than I thought, but I did what I could. As promised, I made it not perfect, but better. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looked like after. I want to thank you very much for joining me in this journey. I really appreciate it. And I want to wish you good health, well-being, happiness, and lots of love to you and your loved ones. Once again, Thank you very much. And please, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love to hear your comments. Thank you very much.